Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video we are going to take a look at some gameplay of the Griffin. So uh, recently I did a live stream where I actually ran this build. I got so many god likes with it, it was on Rome map. And I thought at the time, you know, wouldn't it be kind of cool to turn this into a series? Uh, basically older robots fighting back against the newer meta bots out there, like the Aljungs, the Leeches, the Phantoms. Uh, but you guys can let me know in the comment section below if you would like to see this uh, in a series. Uh, basically taking the older robots, uh, giving it newer weapons, uh, modules, a maxed up pilot to see how they do against these newer bots. But uh, yeah, let's get started, uh, you know, with this video here. We do have the Griffin. Uh, with the rhyme and cryo weapons uh, last stand a uh, shield breaker and uh, here are the pilot skills and in keeping with the whole uh, you know older robot uh, theme uh, kind of like my live streams i do on sunday uh, we have the rhino here with a halo corona last stand phase shift i'm not going to go into the pilot skills uh, since it's not really focused on the rhino uh, we do have the lancelot with uh, cryo and glory last stand fortifier advanced repair we have the uh, Raging with the Glory, Last Stand, Advanced Repair, and the Butch here. A bit of a range setup with the Avalanche, Thermonuke, and Shield Breaker. But the main focus is going to be on the Griffin. So we're going to run two games, and we're going to see how this does um, against the newer bots out there. So let's uh, hop into game number one. Okay, so game one we have dropped in on Valley Map. And I've decided to start with the uh, Rhino first here. We gotta make sure that we get these uh, beacons as quickly as possible. And uh, we already have a couple of players targeting us. <laughs> we got uh, locked down here. I wonder if this guy's gonna break my shield. We're gonna have a flank here on this left side. So let's try to get him down to his last stand. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into a phase shift here. And we are dealing with uh, this guy here on my flank. So we're gonna try to take him out. And uh, this guy here, he just put up my shield. I wonder if I can get him quickly. Oh shoot! Falcon! Uh oh, what's going on over here? Okay, so we've got a... Oh, that guy got taken out. We have someone else here on this side. What does this guy have? Okay, you know what? I'm gonna drop in... Yeah, there's no one on this side either. I might have to sacrifice that side. I'm going to drop in actually at home. We're going to use the uh, Griffin now. We're going to see if we can get away with this. Um, let's see, that guy's 400. A couple of Aljungs at center too, I have to watch out for here. Um, I think this guy's moving in. Okay, I got... Whoa! <laughs> yeah. He blinked, but he got hit. His last stand has been triggered, so he's not going to be um, getting too aggressive here, I think. His next engagement, he will be losing that uh, that phantom of his. Um, we have another player over here. I wonder if I can actually move to this side and maybe get him. Um, I got him pretty good, but the problem is that's a falcon. Didn't really do that much damage to him. And I think he's actually going to move around to this side here. So we've got to watch out for that. I'm saving my jump in case I need to escape. Because I'm pretty sure he's going to be moving through here soon. Um, let's see. Yeah, he's right over here. You know what, I'm not going to attack yet because I think my teammate is reloading. So I'd rather him be reloaded. And also we've got an Aries moving to my right flank. I don't know if you guys can see that, uh, that guy over there. Um, let me just see if I can. Yeah, he's moving that way. Where is this guy? So I'm gonna try to actually go for this guy here. I'm gonna get uh, use a shield breaker on him. There we go. Uh oh, he's got an Aljung. <laughs> he's coming back for revenge. And this is a guy I think I hit earlier and he blinked away. So we managed to take out an Ares and a Phantom. The problem is we're losing... No, we're not losing that left flank. So one thing I find when you're playing older robots, especially something like the Griffin, you can't get too aggressive. Um, and also the gameplay is a lot slower, so you have to kind of adapt to that style of play. What is that guy in? I really want to take out this Aljung, but I don't want to jump to the side. 
uh, that right side, if I do that, I'm actually uh, putting myself in a pretty high risk uh, situation. These guys are moving in here. Um, I wonder if I can get bait this guy to fly. Got him pretty good there. I want to fight inside this tunnel though. Because when he flies, he's going to have an advantage over me. Yeah, they got a couple of Aojungs. I got to make sure that I play in cover here. Otherwise, uh, actually, can I get this guy? Let's get him down to his last stand if I can. And we have. Let me just jump here just to get some help. And this guy's flying on this side, or he will be. Actually, you know what? This guy's going to be getting this beacon. So I got to watch out for that. Uh, the Ares is here to help protect, and someone else has dropped in there. He's gone into flight. Oh, shoot. Yeah, he's going for me. <laughs> I got to jump just to get some health here. Oh man, I made him angry earlier. But the thing is, I might actually be able to take him out. Where did he go? Uh, shoot, I was hoping to actually jump there. Oh, I'm trying to get him because I know that he's used his ability. Here we go. So my last hand has been triggered. So has his. And come on, come on. Yes, we took out another Aljung. But uh, my last stand has been triggered and we're dealing with... Oh, oh. <laughs> that was a pretty good run though. I think I did pretty well against those players. Um, let me just see what's going on here. Let's drop in with... Uh, you know what? I'm going to use the Butch. We still have uh, quite a bit of time here, but I think I need to also be careful and keep my distance on some of these guys. Uh, we're using that left uh, flank there. I'm going to have to move on over to that side. It's now four versus five. Um, let's see. Four versus four, maybe? This guy's going to be uh, trying to fly in here. I'm, uh, whoa, he blinked. There's a lot of guys in center here. Try to see if we can get some of that splash. Let's try to take this guy out. Uh, we won't be able to take this guy out, but that's okay. You know what? I'm just going to keep on moving. This way I can get into my other bot. I'm trying to take this guy out. Help my teammate. A bit of lag there. And it looks like we're getting another... Oh, we almost got that other beacon there. Uh, let's drop in with the uh, Lancelot next. This guy's going to try to sneak in and get this beacon here. Let me just move to the left side. It's four versus three. And can we get this guy? You know what these uh, two menders are doing is actually uh, really smart here. And I think they're from the same clan. Yeah, so that is really good teamwork there. They were sticking together, but they went straight to that uh, beacon the minute uh, they saw that the other team was going to uh, attack it. You know what? I'm going to move this way. These menders uh, can kind of stay there to protect it. I still have another bot, so it's worth me getting aggressive with this. Just move this way. I'm going to heal up now. The main thing is to to kind of drive their beacon bar down at this point. Did we lose another beacon on one of the sides there? Let's try to get this guy. There we go. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I wonder if I can heal quick enough here. I just need to move on over to the side. Maybe get this guy down to his last stand would be nice. The menders are moving in. Okay, I managed to do enough damage to that guy. Let's switch on over to this one here. So I'm going to get uh, taken out probably by... Nope. I think we got it. And my teammate is getting the other beacon on the other side. So we're going to be five capping them. These menders, I should just stay close to them. They're going to heal me all the way back up. We have some nurses here to help me out. Oh, crap. <laughs> Where did they go? <laughs> Look at these menders. This is really good teamwork. You guys, that's crazy. 
Wait a minute, did one of them have like quantum radar or something? How did they manage to take out that uh, out Jung? That was really good teamwork. I like seeing teamwork like that. So uh, well played to the, you know, the duo squad there it seems. But uh, let's take a look to see, you know, how we did uh, in this game. Um, I think I did a pretty decent job with that uh, Gryphon. Uh, there were a lot of out so I had to be really careful and pay close attention to what my teammates were doing. But, uh, you know, we ended up becoming first here. 1.9 million, almost 2 million, uh, 8 kills, 3 beacons. Let's take a look at this duo team because they... Uh, they played their Menders really well. That's uh, some of the best Mender play I've seen uh, in quite a while. Uh, but they are running, uh, you know, level 10 through to MK2 level 12. A pretty leveled up uh, pilots there. And uh, his clanmate. Let's take a look at uh, this guy over here. And uh, this guy is also running an MK2 level 12 Mender. Uh, level 9 through to 10. And those are his uh, weapon levels and pilot levels. And uh, to the other team here. Let's see what these guys are running also in Champion League. And this guy is running level uh, 7 through to 9 on his bots. Those are his weapon levels and pilot levels. And his teammate. This guy over here running level 7 through to 11 on his bots. And, uh, excuse me, those are his weapon levels. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> we ran into trouble here. Also, apologies to that uh, duo squad for the uh, invite. Just doing a video here, so I have to make sure that we finish it. And uh, here we go. Okay, and those are the pilot levels. And uh, before I forget, the honor points. So here are the honor points uh, for this game. And uh, yep, so what I'm going to do is jump into another game and uh, try to see if we can get that Gryphon to work even better. Um, I think a map like Power Plant Map, it could work really well. I need a lot of cover. Um, you know, that last game was pretty tough. I had to stick in the tunnels there uh, to make sure I didn't get, uh, you know, taken up by Al Jungs and stuff. But uh, let's hop into game number two and let's see how we do uh, with this Gryphon. Okay, so game two we have dropped in on Moon Map and it looks like we are already like 30 seconds into the game. So <laughs> I'm going to try to see if I can get this to work here. It looks like we are being attacked on the right flank. I'm uh, hoping that my teammate drops in here. I'm going to uh, try to get to this side as quickly as possible. Um, I do have phase shift in case um, things get really bad. And uh, what does this guy have here? You know what? I'm just going to go for it because I do need to... <laughs> I'm going to run right into this guy's shield. Oh, so close. Let me just go into phase shift gonna try to get him now and uh, there's also where's this guy he jumped okay, let's just move through here and uh, once I'm out of this bot I will be dropping in you know with that uh, Griffin I'm just gonna be holding down the side in case uh, <laughs> look at this blitz he's actually running away from the Rhino let's uh, move this way Try to take this guy out. Oh man, we're dealing with the leech. Okay, this might be a bit of a problem here. Oh, I can get this guy. If I can't get him, go for another guy that you can get. Okay, um, let's see what's going on over here. You know what? I'm gonna spawn over here with the griffin. Let's see if we can do this. Maybe take this guy out. We got a double kill. And, whoa! I don't know if I can get that guy from there. That was a bit of a tricky uh, maneuver there. Um, there's someone over here that I need to get as well. Let's see if I can get him down to his, his last stand. It's a leech. I think that was the guy that hit me earlier. Yeah, I think it is. He's still leeched onto me. Where's this guy looking? Is there a guy behind us? I don't see any arrows or anything, so I'm assuming there's no one there. I'm going to try to actually take out this guy over here, though. Let's try to take out uh, this Leo. I don't want to jump because I might need my jump later on. There we go. We also have uh, someone here on this left. Oh, shoot. He's really close, too. Now we jump. 
and that's the reason why I didn't jump earlier just in case and uh, we also have this guy over here in a leech let's try to get him as well oh <laughs> that was close this game's getting uh, pretty intense here it's like four versus five here we go uh, this guy's gone into flight or something wait what is that yeah I think it is no he's in the tunnel that's what it is let's get this guy and there we go gotta jump I need some more health here this guy has triggered my last stand that's not good but if I can get Ooh, that was close these guys are fighting here for this uh, tunnel let me just wait oh shoot he's gonna get me now for sure jump I need my health whoa look at my health <laughs> I'm gonna get taken out yeah for sure I'm out this is gonna kill me but you know what I think I had a pretty good run there with that um, he's gonna be landing here somewhere let me just see what's going on I'm gonna drop in with the uh, Raijing here we're gonna use this to defend whoa bit of lag there so when you like this you get um, an additional I think it's 30% more damage if I remember correctly just trying to hold this uh, down here I'm in this mode I'm not gonna move because like this I actually have more resistance because of the defense points so we're gonna deal with this guy over here we do have a five cap now so we should have this uh, game wrapped up soon and uh, oh, can't hit this guy well actually wait maybe you know what I could do is um, I could actually well let's not ditch it I was actually gonna ditch well you know what there's a guy here in center uh, that I can get let's do this he doesn't see me yet but he's gonna get hit uh, pretty good here so let me just move forward there we go let's change this beacon he might still have another that he drops in front of me um, nope I think we're good so I think I actually did a pretty decent job there with the uh, Griffin. Uh, this map is actually really good for the Griffin, um, as well as power plant maps works really well. But uh, let's take a look to see how we did uh, in this game. And uh, we ended up uh, doing uh, 1.7 million. I'm uh, just looking at uh, you know the scores here. And uh, this player over here, also in Champion League, and this guy, uh, he is running level 10 through to MK2 level 10 has a leech those are his weapon levels and pilot levels pretty leveled up for the most part and the other team uh, this guy over here also in champion league and this guy is running has some mk2 level 9 on his bots for the most part mk2 level uh, 11 on the fenrir those are the weapon levels and the uh, pilot levels and uh, his teammate this guy over here also in Champion League, and this guy's running level uh, 8 through to 10 on his bots. Those are the weapon levels and pilot levels. And uh, before I forget, the uh, honor points. So here are the honor points for this game. And I think I might have been able to score a little bit more. Now, the only thing is when I dropped in, it was already 30 seconds into the game. Uh, so I try to make a game out of that. But um, I think other than that, you know, pretty good run there with the uh, Griffin. Uh, let me just show you. Um, the modules and stuff that I'm running once again so that's what I'm running and uh, here are the pilot skills so uh, yeah let me know actually in the comment section below if you guys would like to see this turn into a series where I do uh, kind of builds and stuff for older robots and I try to see uh, you know how it does against the meta but I'm using obviously maxed out pilots and uh, modules and weapons or the newer weapons uh, for these older bots because I think that's the best way to really judge uh, whether they can compete I mean you can show and you know a leech and stuff and sure it does well uh, but you are using you know maxed out uh, you know weapons and uh, you know in most cases the newer weapons but to see an older robot like this uh, do well is kind of uh, refreshing so yeah let me know in the comment section what you guys think of that and I think that about wraps everything up so thank you guys for watching 
If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet subscribed, consider subscribing. Until the next video, I'll catch you guys later. Falling trees is hard to breathe, but I will keep fighting.